The following chemical energetics question it deals with bond energies and the question states that gaseous phosphorus pentachloride which is uh, PCl5 pentachloride would mean that they are 5 Cl's and he's saying can be decomposed into gaseous phosphorus trichloride so that is it's it can be decomposed into gaseous phosphorus trichloride which is PCl3 and chlorine chlorine is Cl2 so this is the reaction that's happening and He's saying that the table uh, gives the bond energies of the following bonds. So you're given the bond energies and he's asking what is the enthalpy change in the decomposition of PCl5 to PCl3 and Cl2. Now if you, let's rewrite the reaction first, PCl5 and it's decomposing into PCl3 and it's forming Cl2 as well. So this is the decomposition reaction. So the first thing is we need to figure out which bonds are broken and which bonds are formed. So five PCl bonds are broken. So these are the bonds that would be broken. And once these bonds are formed, uh, bo bonds are broken, which bonds are formed? So let's uh, note down the bonds that are formed. So the bonds that are formed are the uh, three PCl bonds are formed plus there is uh, one CLCl bond also being formed. Now the overall enthalpy change of the reaction would be let's write down the energy changes of the of the of the bond formation and breaking process. Uh, to break the PCl bond you need uh, PCl bond energy is given as 330 so that is 330 and it's going to be positive 330 and that would be multiplied by 5 and then you're forming three PCl bonds, so that's going to be uh, 330 as well, but negative because bond formation is exothermic and that would be multiplied by three as well. Plus I'm also forming a CLCl bond and the bond energy for that is given as 240, that would be minus 240 because uh, you're forming the bond so it's exothermic. And then use the simple formula which is that the enthalpy of a reaction is equal to you're going to sum up all the bond energies. It's going to be bonds broken, the energies involved in breaking bonds, these would be positive, minus uh, bond formation or the energy evolved during bond formation. The reason why this has a negative sign is because bond formation is exothermic. So we've already added that negative sign, so we don't need to, we don't need to actually uh, add another negative sign I'm just what I'm just going to do is I'm going to sum up this uh, energy needed for bond breaking and the energy released during bond formation so for bond breaking it's uh, 330 times 5 and then minus the bonds uh, formation part it's going to be 330 times 3 and 240 and the answer that I get is the answer is 420 kilojoules per mole. So remember, using this formula, bonds broken minus bonds formed, what you're doing is you're basically summing up the energies uh, that would be needed for bond breaking, plus that would be positive, and uh, you're going to be summing up the bond energy, bo the energy that is being released during bond formation, and these bond energies would be negative. So you can either use the formula, or you just simply sum up these values, if you sum up these values, it's automatically the negative sign is already incorporated over here. So it's bonds broken, positive, bonds formed, negative, add them up, and that gives you 420. So the answer is going to be option D.